Especially for a game, I, I think this game is only like 15 bucks. Like, if you can't afford the 15 bucks, then you probably shouldn't play it. Like, I, most of the games that I pirated back in the days were like the 60 buck ones, you know, the, the one the AAA is sold at full price. I don't think I've ever even felt the desire to ever torrent an indie game. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. Still worth it. I mean, I've, I've put in two and a half hours right now. And it feels like I could probably easily get 20 hours of, out of this game right now. Um, but no, there's there's no no reason why anybody should ever uh, pirate an indie game. Unless, of course, the indie game's out of print or the developer pulled the game or something like that. Like, there's a couple of examples where it's like... You know, it's fine. 15 bucks in other countries is pretty expensive. Yeah, but... Uh, I mean, it's still... It's still stealing from effectively the mouths and the uh, uh, the mouths of the developers. Like s straight up, uh, I know studios that have shut down uh, because they didn't have enough sales. And like obviously, this one's probably going to do fine. But oh, is the uh, is the busted? I can turn the busted uh, uh, gravestone into into firewood. But like with stuff like Steam sales and and promotions and so on and so forth, I mean, there's pretty much no no time where you ever should feel the need to pirate one of these games. It's just not okay. I've over twenty terabytes of torrented movies, TV shows, and porn. I mean, good for you, but I'm still judging you for it, especially if you pirate this game. Anybody that pirates this game, like, I get it if you like truly can't afford it, like. I, you might as well, but that's still, like, a, barely an excuse. Uh, what was I even doing? I got really distracted. We need a skull, but that's not helpful right now. Uh, I can't do anything about that. Beekeeping. We could do advanced foraging. Anvil, iron parts. Oh. I guess I should probably look into getting the better tools. Cause yeah, I think I'm just using the really roughshod garbage stuff. To be obvious, he's a troll. I don't... I mean, could be. Could be trying to get a rise out of me, but my point still stands. Let's, uh, let's rest and then I'm gonna go get some, um... Then I'm gonna go get some iron. Oh, turn in the burial certificates. You know, I probably should do that. And go buy a bunch of, uh... Bunch of iron. I'd say it's not terrible if you're doing as a try before you buy. No, like, there are reasons why uh, temporary piracy, like, can be kind of justified. And I totally understand, like, uh, you know, downloading a game that doesn't have a demo and making it yourself beforehand. Like, that that I can get behind. Especially because, like, there's so many games out there, you got to make the decisions on which games are good and which games aren't. But if you're just uh, pirating it for the sake of, like, yeah, I'm just... I'm, I just don't feel like paying for this game because uh, it's it's not valuable enough for me to pay for it. Uh, that's that's where I'd say like you have no business uh, even playing the game at that point. Oh, it's Sunday. Cool. Uh, right, we're gonna go sell my certificate and then we're gonna go do other things. But no, I, I guess an easy example of piracy is like, how many of you guys have a job? How many of you guys like work for a living or anything like that? Imagine if just uh, say say you're like a programmer, uh, and you do you do freelance on the side, and one in twenty, uh, one in one in twenty, no, maybe yeah, it's probably like one in twenty, uh, you know, clients just took your hard hard work and just ran with it if you're an artist you do a painting for somebody they're like yeah i actually don't feel like paying you for this and you're like but you know i worked really hard on this for you and you're using it for your own gain either your own pleasure or your own professional development and stuff like that um and like if somebody just every once in a while just effectively stole from you um how would you feel? I assume most people probably would not enjoy it that much. So rusty axes. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these ingots. 
How much do I have? I got eight. There's probably... Oh, no, 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 no. We should go see if I can buy seeds from somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's... That's kind of where I am for piracy. It's like, if... I, well, I mean, there's the easy example of stuff like Adblock, which always gets my goat. Because that's effectively sort of piracy. But I don't want to talk about that, because whenever I start talking about uh, Adblock, people people like to get really on my case. It's like... Uh, your content's not good enough for me to want to watch ads for it, or, or you know, pay a paltry sum of money to kind of make up for it. Uh, okay, seriously. Where do we get seeds from? Oh, we can't get seeds. Nope. We can get bees from this guy. Okay, so I can, I can buy things from these people. So... Bees, fishing, there's wood, axe, hammer... Maybe not the wheat farm. Anybody know where where to get the um Anybody know where to get uh vegetable seeds from? South of the massive wheat field, awesome. Yeah, ads are a bit different story since people don't really consent to them. No, I totally understand that. It's just like uh I make my living off of that ad rev, and it's really painful when everybody starts bragging about uh using ad block. It's pretty much like the more people use ad block, the the less financially secure I remain. Um, and, like, if everybody started using Adblock, I'd be in trouble. I'm just looking around. I don't know what's happening, but everyone's telling me I'm the Graveyard Keeper. Oh, then you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. Trade. Okay, so we can buy... We need cabbage seeds. Uh, we need... Eight? Let's do 12, just in case. Actually, you know what? Let's do less. Let's do four. Let's do four of each. Bare minimum, we're just going to work our way up. Uh, we don't want flour, cabbage seeds. Oh, no, no, no. These are cabbages. We need the seeds. Okay, crop waste we don't want. I don't know. Wheat seed, carrot seed, cabbage seed, beet seed. Okay, so we can we can make all of these. Okay, finish offer. And that gives me more than enough to go buy some uh some metal and stuff. Yeah, I almost made a mistake. Yeah. Thanks guys. Uh I was sort of paying attention. I'm just so used to uh uh I, I was just so used to uh you know, just plant the carrot and get another carrot out from other games. Um, anyway, like, I totally understand if people don't want to watch ads. Uh, that That's understandable. But uh, it's always kind of mildly rough on my end because I'm just like, I, I need that money <laughs> to pay rent uh, and food and make sure that I can retire and not, you know, effectively work uh, for the rest of my life. Stuff like Patreon or... Um, Okay, how much money do I have? 691. Okay, that'll have to be good enough. We not we need six. I'll go mine for more iron, but right now it kind of sucks. But yeah, bit ads, uh, Patreon su subs, Twitch subs, anything like that. Like, pretty much, I think, uh, I guess an easy example uh, for karmic debt when it comes to views and whatnot is like a dollar per thousand views. Two dollars if you're me and some other YouTubers and stuff. So, like, if you do actually enjoy watching YouTubers, chuck them a buck and then ad block away and feel no more guilt. Anyway, let's actually talk about this game instead of uh, just doing stuff. Yeah, don't I need to talk to the priest, like, today? Yes, I do. And it's late and I forgot. I think we've got enough time. If not, I'm just gonna feel real stupid. I was distracted trying to figure everything else out. Oh, don't start leaving. Okay, he's still there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I fixed the graveyard. I was definitely right about you. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this place, the prior and prior of this church. 
Let's arrange your first sermon. Aha, it'll be a great honor for you. So stand in the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. Haha. <laughs> you can actually say whatever you want. You know this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense, get all oiled up for a nice bazaar. Long story short, all this stuff will help you get more faith, and faith is power. Okay, create uh create prayer for faith. A number of your uh a number of very touching words, your flock will produce more. Bishop told you that you can now arrange a church service, so there you go. Um don't talk to me, talk to the people. Ah, uh, my inventory is mad full though. Can I get rid of anything? Yes. I can destroy the yellow flower. Okay, so we can get the casual prayer. Start praying. Church quality, whatever this is. Casual pr prayer, 10 faith needed to guarantee a successful ceremony. A couple of words without any real inspiration. It works somehow. Effect faith times two. Craft. Uh, hmm. Uh, may the force be with you. Aha, uh -huh, not bad. But my sermons are much better. You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there, too. He considered himself a scientist. Haha, <laughs> you can throw all that stuff out. Okay, so we can now make a study table. Old books and curious mind. You go deeper. Find out the essence of things. Study an item as a chance of giving you a story. I'll spread the word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. By the way, as prior, it's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony on Sunday. I can sell you some useful accessories for it. Haha. -ha. I have... This also, I have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. Ugh, I have to get out of there, here. The air is so dry, my skin can't take it for long. Okay, so we got faith power. And it's just gonna sit around because my inventory is mad full. Okay. Well, either way, that's... That's out of the way-ish. Uh, sorry about that. I had to check something. Anyway, yeah, this is what I get for carrying around too much of my inventory. Yeah, and I can't, I can't just immediately move things to my, my truck. Truck? Trunk. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we move over? Honestly, I should just go in here and put the food stuff in here. We didn't need the bread after all. Leave the berries behind. Okay, so apples. Hopefully I'll be able to make some, um, some apple, uh, plant some apple trees somewhere so we can actually get, uh, we can get them more locally. So when does the necromancy happen? Don't know. I mean, kind of already. We've got, uh, we've got a, a skeleton that talks to us and gives it, uh, gives us tips. So, a while back. We're gonna want to see about making things. So let, let's see what I can put down in here. I can't make a damn thing. All right, well, let's go downstairs. Oh, we're here. Build. Study table. Needs planks, metal, and glassware. I guess I might as well destroy these as we're... while we're here. Because they're pretty busted. Looks like we already have something. So I'll go take a look at that first. Some of this I can't interact with. Okay, study. Study table. I can study a thing. Study the mushroom. Oh. I don't have any science? I didn't realize... How do you get science? Crap. Uh... What do I need to open this up? Clear out. Well, can I make glass? Okay, so I can make glass, but we can't make the glass blower yet. So that's right out. Yeah, okay, so I've already got the, uh... I've already got the study table. Okay, you can make paper from the skin of corpses. Oh, gross. Alright, we still got that guy hanging out there. I really gotta go clear up my inventory, though. Really wish, well, I guess that's what the uh, clearing out the, the underground is supposed to do for me. 
Because, yeah, we want to clear out the tunnels at some point. Maybe I should make that a priority. Okay, so we've got Casual Prayer. Should save that. I don't know about the salvaged books. Store that. Okay, Iron Ingot. What about down here? Yeah, we want to get the, uh... Damn it! Come on, game. I just want to make a little bit of progress for a bit. Alright. We really gotta make the better tools as well. Maybe I should prioritize that first. Oh. There's a trunk beside the church as well. Okay. Not enough energy, of course. Well, is my inventory still crazy full? Is there a trunk in the farm that I can store? The answer is no. <sighs> all right. Uh, let's let's just let's just put away all the seeds. Put away all the books. Hmm. Hopefully, we get the ability to expand our inventory at some point. That'd be kind of nice. At least it doesn't look like anything decays or disappears from the world. Because it is, uh... It would be pretty bad if stuff just went poof on you, eventually. Now this is, that's like a tithe box. So it doesn't look like we've got any immediate storage in there. Okay. Question. Clear this out. Yeah, we need full timbers and stuff. You could build a trunk in the farm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just low on resources. So, question. Notes. Can be decomposed on the stud study table to get science. Okay, so now we've got some science. Let's study... Nope. Oh, I left my faith behind. Really wish I could build a trunk in here. Cause yeah, there's a there's a trunk here. Oh, but it's a separate trunk. I was hoping they'd all have the same inventory. All right, let's go back and grab our faith. I thought I, I, th I guess I put it away like a moron. Okay, well, grab it back. Let's grab the rune book. I don't entirely know. What that'll do. Okay. Oh, we can also make some glassware, but we need to find... I don't even know what that resource is. Okay, you can make shelves in there, not trunks. Well, unfortunately, I think we're going to need, need to get the tech first. Uh, we have a smidge of faith. I feel like I should probably... Uh, Stop soon. I'm actually feeling kind of overwhelmed. I'm really enjoying this. Like, this is... A l ah! Donkey! Go away! Okay, can I study that? Yes, okay, and it's a cheap one, too. And I'm out of energy. Ah! 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 Let's just eat those. Okay, let's go deal with the... Okay, the resources sand, which is beside the river. Uh, on your side of the river. Gotcha. Thank you. I really wanna I really wanna play this multiplayer so I can just delegate somebody to talk to the donkey. Looks like you're doing alright here. Yes, I just opened the church. So now you own everything here? Yeah, I guess. Congratulations. You're a lucky man. You've acquired all this capital. Your work for yourself. You're a true capitalist now, but this world has no such reward for a hard-working donkey like me. Even you are benefiting from my cheap labor. I fear I cannot call you comrade any longer. But I won't just lie down and take it. Here's a little present just for you. Uh... Did he just... 
You just shit on the ground. So what? Are you a cleric now? Seems so. Huh. I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? Okay, so we want the skull. So that made it worse. Well, we could just take the skin. The bone. But not... Uh, well, I guess it'll just wait there. I'll get it in the morning. Then we're gonna toss that. Yeah, so everything I remove makes the, uh, the body worse. Which is something I should keep in mind. A seven corpse. Never seen that before. Well, unfortunately, I immediately ruined it because I needed stuff. Or maybe more per se. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop harvesting meat from corpses. They really should have made that a little bit more clear that actually removing stuff from the corpses actually makes it worse. But whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Meat. Oh, removing things from it can actually randomly make it weaker or stronger sometimes. Interesting. Okay, good to know. See, couldn't you exhume a bad corpse, corpse and dice it, dice it up for stuff later? Potentially, yeah. You can also embalm them later to make it better, too. Cool. You have to learn what removing different body parts does. Okay. Well, for starters, let's deal with the shit that's just hanging out here. Inventory is full. Can I... How do I salvage some paper from a book? Maybe not at the study table. Maybe. Well, I still have the faith. I still have the science. And we have some time. Is there any penalty for throwing a corpse in the river? I honestly have no idea. People have said maybe? I was watching a guy earlier who for like an hour kept throwing them in the river. Oh. Huh. Alright. Okay. So I can't... I can't do that. Let's study this skull while we're here. Aha! The skull was was a good choice. Okay, so we can do glass blowing, which we are going to need. Uh, I don't entirely remember w for what. We could get woodcutter, precious metals. No, well, we we can't really get precious metals yet. Gentle butcher. We could get stone gravestones, cremation. Uh, let's me make a place for burning corpses. Funeral urn. Price of faith. Power of faith. Business of faith. Comfort of faith. So church, uh, church benches might not be a bad idea. Candles. Let's get business of faith, comfort of faith. Pa uh, paper crafting and writing would have been a good idea too. Well, let's get the glass blower for now. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for a little while. Yeah, I should have gotten paper crafting. Oh well, it's late. Anyway, what do we do? I mean, yeah, it is getting too late. I'm gonna start making some bad decisions. I needed glass for something. Something very specific, but I don't... Off the top of the head, remember? Uh, just... just uh, yeah, this is, this is why I'm saying, like... 
I might be a little bit too tired for this. Did we make the tools? Was it? It wasn't glass for one of these. It was glass for something else. Increase yard space. Stone stone cutter. Oh wait, no, we already have a stone cutter. Where do we? Where do we make the tools at? Tools. Made at oh wooden anvil. Okay. So I gotta get some more sticks, and I gotta get some metal bits. Well, that should be enough. Glass blowing helps with the study bench, but you already have one. Oh, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Whatever. We'll make it work. Okay, I wanted to also go find some sticks over here. There's gotta be a renewable supply of these things at some point. I just don't know where. And that's fine. Okay, so that's that's a whole bunch of wooden sticks. Okay, and so we can start making... Let's make a better shovel. We're only going to be able to get, like, an inch into it. But yeah, let, let's get new, new tools at the very least. Uh, let's see. So, does anybody know how to break down those books in my inventory? Because it said they can be salvaged for more paper. Sticks renew near the vi vineyard. And you get tech that lets you get them from trees, too. Good to know. Oh, right. We also want to get, like, a proper anvil down. We should probably get the regular, uh... The, or the, the better pickaxe, too. Okay. Study complete, study complete. So we can, we can destroy... I don't actually... Can you not get rid of these? Guess not. Really gotta work on that. Let's see, does this game have an end? I don't know if there's an ending in it right now, but... It probably has an ending where you, like, go back home. James Wiki says there's no consequence for tossing corpses in the river. I guess the, the consequence is you don't get money off of them. Which is fair. Which means what I should do is probably just secure an alternate source of, of cash. And then, uh... Just beautify the graveyard and then just start chucking? Give or take. I don't know. Let me see. So we need... I think we have enough sticks. Can I... Okay, I can interact with this thing. This will probably give me some more sticks. It can't cut down any of these big ones, but I'll, I'll keep going for these little, little things. What if you take stuff out of them and throw them in the river? Uh, probably no consequences either. The main problem is I have to get a license to exhume a body. Which is unfortunate. The wiki might not be entirely accurate, though. It has been a while. You know, that is, that's a good point. Uh, it's been in alpha, but... I don't know if this game's popular enough to have, like, a, a fully curated wiki yet. Oh. Okay. We've still got a couple of days before Sunday. Oh. Uh, craft, we want to make one more of these. Because I need to make me an X. And then we're good. Okay. Then we have sticks. Can you use the rune book like I used the bucket of water? Oh, maybe I can. That's a good point. Oh, inventory is empty. Is, uh, er, empty. It is full. Okay. No, I can't use them. But maybe I can't use them because my inventory is, is maxed out. Nope. I don't know what to do with the rune books. Well, that's fine. Okay, so I think this game generally saves when I sleep. So let's just sleep again.
Well, anyway, we'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm not reading chat, and I'm missing stuff, and... I don't know if I want to destroy it. I'll, I'll have to look it up. We'll see. But I'll mess with that, uh, tomorrow. Because this is really fun. I, like, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I think I'm gonna start, uh, tomorrow's stream with it and go for a while. Because it is, uh... It is... It's really good. It's a fun game. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.